Today, I will be playing a horror game named Those Who Remain. The online reviews say that this game is pretty bad, and apparently, according to this review, this is a ripoff of a Roblox game mode. And if you're ripping off of a Roblox game mode, then I would hate to see the devs, because they must have been paid pennies to make this. But the Platinum is supposedly only a 2 out of 10 difficulty, only takes about 8 hours, and consists of 4 silver trophies and 10 gold trophies. A similar amount of trophies compared to my last video, so let's hope that this journey is just as smooth. So for my first playthrough, I'm going to go through the trophies that I got and I'll go through some like interesting moments, but I'm not going to go through every step of the game because I think that's a big waste of time. So let's hop right in with our first trophy. So for the first trophy, it was kind of a weird one. It really didn't have anything to do with the game and there was no other trophies like it, but all I had to do was walk up to this poster and interact with it and I got my first trophy. <laughs> It took a while to get to our next trophy, but in between that time, we met this weird dude with this metal face, and he yapped about these people making bad life choices, and he asked us to forgive them, or to condemn them. I had to forgive him here, because that's what one of the trophies is about. And then the next part, we went through this weird hallway that the doors just flapped open and closed. It was really cringe, honestly. And then we listened to the dude yap again about some person, forgave him, and then we finally got to the next part where I would get a trophy. So for our next trophy, we meet this guy in a police car. He may or may not have sucked my- Just kidding! Come on! Come on! You guys know I was just kidding, right? I meant to say that he killed all the cops, but he asks us for some keys. We decide to help him out. We go find the keys. We bring him back. He flips on the light and boom, we pop our next trophy. We then had another long break and the only thing eventful to happen was we went in this room and this red light appeared through the door and this really ear piercing scream happened. And once again, another very cringe moment. Next, we have another one of these decisions. And at this point, I'm almost convinced that the devs gave up because look at this. It's just, we're talking to this guy we're on a platform there's nothing but trees and fog in the background but we do end up making our decision we forgive him and we pop our next trophy so the next trophy was kind of a confusing one the trophy requirement says to not kill this guy but i couldn't figure out how to not kill him until i picked up this barrel threw against this fence and boom popped the trophy <laughs> So our next trophy was an unmissable trophy. It takes place in this flashback where we learn about this girl's tragic death. And at the end, we watch her as she ascends to heaven, hitting the Fortnite stay afloat emote. And after that, we popped our next trophy. Next, we find this girl who's trapped in this smoking truck and we decide to help her out. But all we do is open the door, hit her with one of these, and we move on and popped our next trophy. We didn't get another trophy until the end of the game. But until then, we did a couple of puzzles. We turned up big time at this church. And then I walked down this hallway where these arms were really trying to get a little grabby grab. Next, we just walk into this room and it gives us another trophy. Next, we load back into this apartment, walk outside, and then we finish our game getting the good ending trophy. Sadly though, we have two more playthroughs ahead of us. The objective in our second playthrough is to get the nightmare ending trophy, which is for killing everyone in the game. So we are back at the cop car scene, and this time around, we decide to burn bro alive, and we pop our trophy. Next, we're back on this platform, and we decide to condemn this dude, and we send him straight to hell. But we do pop our next trophy. For our next trophy, we're back here with the guy on the crate, and this time, we decide to turn the light, killing him, and our trophy popped. Now, we're back in the mail truck scene, and honestly, this person seems like the most innocent in the game, but we turn around, walk away, and we let an innocent person die. That was the last trophy we got during this playthrough, and at the end of the game, we load back into the apartment, we walk up to the mirror, take a good look at ourselves, and realize that we turned into some deformed guy, and we get the trophy for the nightmare ending. And with that, I only have one playthrough remaining, but at this point, I'm so tired of this game that I'd rather play Overwatch 2 Comp. Oh my god! But I'm not going to bore y'all with another playthrough. Just know that for the bad ending trophy, I just had to forgive and condemn certain people. And boom, we popped the bad ending trophy. And with that, we popped our platinum and we are finally done with this game. So that's going to be the end of our platinum journey. And if I will take anything away from this game, it's just because the cover art looks cool doesn't mean the game's actually good. So that'll do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, stick around, possibly hit that subscribe button because our next video may or may not have something to do with minors. Huh? FBI, open up! But until next time, peace out. Whoa!